Once you import the desired project to Swanley, you should already see displayed on the roadmap all of the items that have start and due date set, or in the case of releases, start and release date. If by chance your issues use different fields for the start and end dates, do make sure you map these in settings. Right. If you have issues you've not scheduled yet but want to display on the roadmap, click the blue Add Issue button and you'll have available all items without dates from across all of the projects you imported earlier. If you can't find some issues, first make sure you imported the project. Once you found what you're looking for, simply drag and drop it on the timeline at the day you want the issue to start. If you're using the daily level on the roadmap, then the issue will be scheduled across one day column. And you can see that highlighted on the header of the timeline. This purple marker helps you orient where you're about to drop the issue. The cool trick here is that if you plan on week by week, monthly, quarterly, and so on, all you have to do is zoom out to that level and dragging an item will schedule it for a week or month from the start date you dropped it to. Again, the indicator comes in handy here, showing you when your item would start and end once dropped. Once you dropped your issue on the timeline, if you decide to amend the duration, you can simply drag the ends of the bar to extend the due date or start date. If you want to move the whole thing, you can do that too. Just drag and drop the bar where you need it. Simple. The entire scheduling experience is designed to make it a breeze for anyone in your team to plan work for others or themselves. No more complex and clunky date change fields.